What's going on guys? It's Chris with Palmer Aquatics. Today we're going to talk about silver dollar fish care. And the reason is because I have a buttload of videos on silver dollars, but I still continuously get so many questions. So I want to do a super good video and just stick to the pure basics as far as taking care of silver dollar fish. There are really kind of like misdiagnosed or misunderstood fish. So I want to flip the camera, show you my silver dollar fish. I've been keeping these fish for years. I've learned a lot through the years on like act the actual, you know, you don't learn things on fish until you keep them for a long time. And you know, when you go to like PetSmart and Petco and big chain stores, it's not the same. Like they're, the people working there haven't kept them before, no offense or nothing, but uh, you need advice from someone that has been keeping these fish for a long time and uh, I'm not claiming to know everything, but I've kept them for a hot second. So let's flip the cam and I wanna show you guys and talk about silver dollars. So we're just hanging out here in my fish office. I got my girl Lacey here, she's just chilling. We're resealing this aquarium over here for the fourth time. Don't ask, this tank is possessed. I'm really taking my time and resealing it. Uh, I just did a product review on this Tetra Air Whisper air pump. Um, I've been, kind of researching these two products. Uh, I moved the dehumidifier down to the floor because I've been dealing with some issues with uh, humidity in here, but we're pretty good now. We're at 20% here in the room. If you're wondering, this room is heated, but you deal with some humidity issues because the ceiling is completely foamed and it's pretty like airtight. This sound you hear uh, is this tank right here. I had some issues with this floor dry, I attempt, I was doing some testing on a floor dry. It's a long story. It's used in the automotive industry. I was trying to use it as a tank substrate, but it's really fine particle and it's just shedding so much that the tank is just super dusty. I don't know. I'm gonna do some more rinsing on it and see how it goes. But guys, let's get to talking about silver dollar fish care. God, what the heck is that noise? I can't stand that noise. All right, is this the air pump? Yes, yes, it's that air pump. I apologize for that. I cannot stand little noises like that. I'm weird and OCD. All right, so silver dollar fish care. Silver dollars are part of the same genus family as tetras. So a lot of people don't know that they're actually a pretty insecure fish. And they're a lot like large tetras. You know, that's essentially what I think of them as. Same with piranhas. A lot of people think piranhas are super, super aggressive and that's not actually the fact. Uh, first of all, you're gonna wanna keep silver dollar fish in groups. You know, if you go and buy, you can see the front of that one is beat up because he ran into the tank. These things get so scared that when they, when they get stressed out, they run back and forth and ram themselves into the glass. If that tells you how skittish of a fish they are, like that is a true sign of how kind of insecure they are. They're, con they're that fish, they're the person that has constant anxiety, you know, like I'm that person in real life, you know, I have constant anxiety. I'm like, hey, let's leave, let's go, let's get out of here. You know what I mean? And um, like I was saying, uh, when buying them, buy like five of them at minimum because when, the, when they're in groups, they're gonna do a heck of a lot better because insecure fish slash animals and people, they do better in groups because they can kind of crowd together and give each other security sort of say. And that's, that's the same as like a lot of tetras, you know, tetras like large groups. As far as tank size, I would say a minimum 55 gallon tank because they need that four foot width because these fish like to swim. They're a really thin uh, fish. They're really fast. They like to move. This is kind of a weird setup, uh, just kind of a conglomerate uh, mix of fish in this tank because I've been having issues with other tanks. I got, I have an ick breakout in this tank. So I literally had to mix a couple tanks in here. So don't uh, do as I say, not as I do, um, but for the most part, uh, silver dollars can be kept with so many types of fish. I've seen them kept with monster fish as, as a dither fish. God, look how beautiful that guy is. Absolutely stunning. That's my Vieja cichlid. Uh, some of the fish do look a little stressed out. They were actually just thrown in here. So no judge, no judging on my fish. I just literally threw them in here. 
So tank size, water temperature. You're gonna need a heater. These are tropical fish. This is uh, figure on five watts of energy per one gallon of water. Um, they are omnivores. They have really tiny mouths. As you can see, their mouth is really, really tiny. So you're gonna wanna give them pretty small food. You know, go with a flake, tropical flake, or little granulars. Those work as well. Uh, they're not huge fans of super bright tanks like this. I would advise maybe even a low, lower lighting. They like kind of like dark water setups because of the anxiety. You know what I mean? Like uh, they just prefer darker setups. They like lots of hiding spots. If you can put a lot of, God, that Severum is just looking kind of beat up. He's gonna have to probably come out of this tank and go into the hospital tank. So that's what happens in these tanks when fish get beat up. That's just, you know, what happens. As far as tank mates with silver dollar fish, there are so many choices to choose from. Literally, I would just call, I, you could just go with a general community fish. I've seen them kept with all kinds of like garamis, cichlids, South American cichlids, even monster fish. People keep them with Oscars. I don't advise it because they're super timid fish, but people use them as dither fish because they're so fast and they can swim so fast and pretty much outrun any predator you could think of. But they may possibly die because of their stress levels. If these fish get too stressed out, they're going to die because that's just what happens with fish. You will learn that after keeping them for years. If the fish don't feel secure or something's wrong with their anxiety, and silver dollar fish are high anxiety to begin with. So it's like, uh, you need to be careful with these fish. That's why you need to buy uh, a bunch of them together. Um, get yourself some decent food. Uh, don't use too much water current and filtration. Just get a basic hang on the back filter. I use sponge filters. You could use those as well. Guys, this is a super, super easy fish to take care of. I think I pretty much uh, talked about everything. Tank size, water temperature, um, you know, not too much water movement, filtration, food, just go with a variety brand of foods, use a timer so that they can get a realistic timing schedule. You know, I'm just trying to think of the pure, pure basics, things that you could screw up. I talked about the anxiety levels are huge with these fish. So, um, Silver dollars are great though, because you can keep them with so many different types of fish. I always have silver dollars in my fish room because it's just, they're just one of those fish that like, you know, you gotta have silver dollars on hand. So, all right guys, let me know in the comment section if you plan on getting some silver dollar fish, if you've kept them, what size tank you're gonna keep them in, what style tank are you gonna do? Are you gonna do a black water setup? Are you gonna keep them with Tetras? Uh, my brother-in-law, we're setting up him a tank right now. He has a really tall 60 gallon marine land tall tank it's the same layout as the 55 gallon tank except it's a little taller and i told him i was like hey man we got to do angel fish with silver dollars in there and it's doing absolutely amazing i want to do another video on it because um the silver dollars tetras and angel fish are just such mellow mannered fish that they just go so amazing together so but yeah guys everything's going good um whoa what the heck was that life is great uh let me know in the comment section what you want to see next out of my channels i'm kind of just going back on some of my videos and realizing that a lot of them suck so it's like i want to reshoot some of these videos they kind of help send people when they ask me questions and yeah i don't know without further ado let me know in the comments what you think and don't forget to subscribe like this video all right 